But what we're going to move on to now is a, is another trade union that's been in the news in the past few days, which is the Bakers Union. And Ian Hodson is on the call. You've received one of these auto exclusion letters, is that right? Yeah, I have, mate. And uh, obviously reading, reading the Daily Mirror yesterday, because obviously today was me, uh, the final day I could put forward my, my defence. Uh, but yesterday I read that Keir Starmer's not for turning, so apparently a decision's already been made. Although on Friday they did give me an extension till the 6th of September. So, uh, you know, um, interesting days, Crispin. But, um, you know, your, your exclusion is because you supported one of the, the your, or you're supposedly supporting one of those groups that's been prescribed. But um, can you tell us about the, the Baker's Union's um, history and, and the Labour Party and how important it is? Because obviously that needs to be taken into account, doesn't it? Well, the first thing is, is obviously I'm down as a, I was down as a sponsor, actually, Crispin, of the uh, Labour Against the Witch Hunt. Um, but anybody who watches an interview with Mark Wadsworth will find that he decided to make me a patron of Labour Against the Witch Hunt. The only thing I've ever sponsored is a charity. Uh, and I've been doing that for Mind and uh, for, uh, uh, for Shelter. That's those are the people that I've been sponsoring. The, the, the issue in relation to, to uh, what we have done is support people who have been uh, accused unfairly and unjustly um, by the Labour Party. And when we joined or supported um, any campaign, it always went through our executive. So our executive um, gives me the authority to act on its behalf. I never, I never act independently, although some people may think that I do. Um, but, you know... Our, our, our relationship with, with standing against injustice is, is the reason why we were formulated. I mean, you know, I, I look forward to Aussie's uh, creative states because I, I really enjoyed listening to, to him speak there. And he was absolutely spot on. Um, but, you know, we were formulated in 1847 to defend workers from injustices. And, and we will always do that. In 1902, we made a decision of the union to, to raise funds by levying our members to create a hundred organisers on the ground to build a political movement to represent our class. That's what we did. That's what we did as a trade union. And if, you know, Keir Starmer doesn't want to back down, then so be it. Because I tell you, you know, it won't impact on what we do as a trade union. It will impact on what they do in trying to get elected. That's what will happen. It won't impact on our members whatsoever, other than we will use that money for other, for other reasons uh, to build our membership and to build better for, for the people that we represent. Well, look, I'm going to bring in um, Sarah Woolley, who's the General Secretary of the um, Bakers Union. Are you there, Sarah? Yeah, I'm morning, Crispin. Happy yeah, birthday. Tomorrow. Good morning. I no, I didn't realise that, that if Ian did something, that it had to go through the executive. So um, that so therefore, it, auto excluding Ian is almost saying that the executives had that. Um, Definitely, and and that's why we've taken the stance that we've taken that we're recalling conference, and our members will decide whether we continue our affiliation because we see it as an attack on the BFAWU, not just Ian, the whole union, our our our. Um, organization is democratic it's how we how we function um and no individual is above our our union so he acts as i do on behalf of our executive and our union and we are we're effectively told what to do by our membership because that's how trade unions should work so for the for the for the labor party to decide to auto exclude ian it for us they're auto excluding the whole union, and that's why we're having a recall conference. So it's 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 not like a stunt because actually the the whole thing is it, it crum crumbles when when Ian's decision that was made by the executive uh, is is leads to his auto exclusion. It means there's nowhere else you can go but to recall the conference, is there? Exactly, it's not a stunt at all. We you know that we've been under pressure for the last six to 12 months from our membership around our relationship with the Labour Party and that's why we had the survey of early in the year um, to try and to try and prevent some of those um, many motions that we were we were told were going to come to conference um, to disaffiliate um, 
that pressure's building up again. They can't, und- our members can't understand why Ian is being auto expelled. Um, and, and they deserve to have that debate and that, that discussion at conference about how we move forward. I mean, I've, I've been, um, obviously, I've, I've known Ian because he's sponsored some of the shows I've put on in the past. Well, that the BFAWU has, and Ian has been speaking at them. Um, but um, the, the, the bakers do so much um, activity on the ground, don't they? I mean, taking on McDonald's was a massive uh, campaign that was of, of great success, wasn't it? It was, it was. And, you know, as Ian mentioned earlier, it's not our members that are going to lose out. It's definitely going to be the Labour Party. We've got lots of members that are activists that have gone out campaigning for local Labour Party elections, general elections and everything else. We're getting messages through on a daily basis to say they've cut up the membership cards because of what's happening to their elected national president. It's just the Labour Party that's going to suffer. We will carry on representing our members and fighting for better terms and conditions for our industry and fighting for our members to be paid what they should be paid as key workers, regardless of what the Labour Party um, does. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I, it's, it, the BFAW is like the, the lead, leading activist union, in, in my opinion, one of them at least. I don't want to put down any other unions, but sorry, yeah, I know. We are the best, Crispin. There's, there's, the there's no other better than us, you know. I'm very impressed by the activism and, and to kind of, the, if the Mirror paper is saying that it doesn't matter to Starmer, uh, it's pretty appalling. Um, I'm... Ian, Ian, it's good. Ian, it's good that you, there's there's all the, the whole union behind you. But do you do you think um, the Labour Party's got a change from Starmer? How do you think we can get around this? Listen, you know the, the membership elected Keir Starmer. I think they elected him under um, a, fal- a lot of falsehoods. There was there was a presentation uh, that he gave that that made people believe that he was going to represent the interests. Of them when when in actual reality he's never represented the interests of anybody uh, but himself and surround himself with people um, whose concerns were about securing positions in the party and securing uh, their control over the party where they should be fighting uh, and we should be fighting right at this minute against unemployment which is coming down the road against homelessness and people being evicted from their homes for £15 an hour and making sure that zero hours contracts don't become the norm again in this country. That's what we should be doing as the Labour Party and that's what we're failing to do as the Labour Party. And if the leadership of the Labour Party doesn't understand that, then it shouldn't be the leadership of any political organisation that claims to represent working people. And for me, you know, the Labour Party needs to stop navel-gazing and start interacting with real people and not focus groups because we're real people and the issues that we face have been brought about by political decisions made in Westminster, not in Europe, but in our Houses of Parliament have impacted on our lives. They sold off our council houses. They brought in legislation that enabled employers to introduce second, third and fourth generation contracts. They brought in legislation that forced peoples and allowed wages to be forced down. So it's the government of this country that we should be holding responsibility. And if the political voice of the Labour movement fails to grasp that and thinks it's all about getting funding from the people at the very top of big business whom it seems to want to attract uh, to 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 galvanize its support then it no longer represents the working class communities up and down this country and it will be time for people to move away from the Labour Party and form a new political organization that does represent our interests because we are entitled as a people to representation about the issues and the hardships that we face so if the labor party wants to pursue rather than lead you know then obviously it will reap what it sows crispin in my opinion thank thank you ian and um sarah good to see you on on here Thanks. I don't know. I'll follow that. 